Good morning, everyone. And here we got a little extra recess this morning. Beautiful morning for it. So, welcome. This is our sixth grade awards assembly and our student of the month assembly. Um, you guys ready for summer? Yeah. Okay. I don't believe you. Are you ready for summer? Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, without further ado, we're going to get started. Um, we've got some Unified Arts teachers that are supposed to be teaching right now, so we're going to ask them to give their awards first. So we'll start off with Mr. Kutu. Good morning, everybody. Um, I have to say, um, these awards are actually one of the toughest things to actually do because I feel like I could give out 50 uh, of these this year. Um, actually, awesome sixth grade class, actually. You've got to attach to a lot of these kids. Um, anyways, uh, it's really hard, and I actually have to narrow it down. And the way I do it is actually I have to go with um, out student, student, all around, okay? Uh, meets all Tiger expectations. Outstanding effort, attitude, and behavior. Completes all projects. Uh, are always done in the highest quality. Uh, and these students actually have the highest grade average. Um, I actually chose uh, a few students this year. Uh, first one is Samantha Hilbert. Um, actually, guys, hang on a sec, please. Uh, if we can hold off on the applause just to kind of speed it up a little bit. Um, Samantha Hilbert, Jordan Rabito, Alexander Cotter, and Mark Clement. Mark Clement. High five, Mark. Thank you, Kudo. Jordan Rubito. I forgot Alex was, Alexandra was on crutches, otherwise I'd probably have to chose somebody to save, somebody different to save time. Just kidding. Um, Anyways, uh, I'd actually like to uh, introduce uh, Ms. Thomas, the health teacher. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, like Mr. Cucci says, and probably everybody here, it's, gonna re it's really hard to choose these awards, but it's part of the process. You are all really awesome. I've really enjoyed getting to know you this year in sixth grade, and I cannot wait for seventh and eighth grade. It's so cool that I get to know you for three years. Um, so I look forward to that. Uh, so health students of the year are students who come to class, like great attitude, ready to learn, ready to have fun every day. Uh, they're respectful, responsible, kind. They help other people. Uh, they did their best every day, and they added something to class with, um, their work they did, their attitude, their comments, their ideas that they brought to class and class discussions, new ideas that we weren't thinking about before. Um, they go above and beyond in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. I want to thank all of them for everything that they've done this year. And again, I'm going to read, I'm going to read four names. And if you can hold your applause until after I read those names. So this year's Health Student of the Year for sixth grade are Colby Creer, Ashton McIntyre, David Otero, and Sarah Coppinger. everybody uh, giving out this award uh, for me in general music it does not mean you are the greatest musician uh, in the classroom 
um, I actually look for other qualities because truthfully, it is not about being the best musician in the room. It's about being your very best as a musician. Um, and I give this award out to people who follow the Tiger expectations and they bring their very best with them to the room every day, so much so that they have a huge impact on our culture. Uh, and when it is, it's noticeable when they're absent, you know, something's just not right. So I have two outstanding students. It was a hard decision because there are so many of you who have shown me wonderful qualities. I'm looking forward to working with you guys in the future. Please hold your applause for Nicholas Nicky Penn and Bela Fargiato. Have a wonderful summer, everybody. And now, Coach B. Well, hello. Uh, I'm actually going to start off with something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to assign each one of you a homework assignment tonight, but it's a very special one. So I would like each one of you to watch the Boston Bruins bring home the third world championship in Boston sports. All right? So sorry, parents. But it'll be worth it, something very special. So hope, hopefully each one of you has a chance to at least watch a little bit of the game. Uh, so for these awards, uh, much like the, our uh, other teachers were saying, it's something very difficult to do to narrow down. Um, out of all of you, this has been an awesome year down to just a few awards. Uh, this year, for the PE award, this award goes to the student who truly exemplifies the attributes that are the foundation of the Pell Memorial School PE program. This student demonstrates excellent participation, values, sportsmanship, and most importantly, excellent character. Their efforts truly enhance the PE experience for the entire class. Um, and again, there are many, many students that demonstrate all these qualities, uh, but a few really stood out amongst others. Um, so the first two awards, uh, one goes to Reese Nicolosi, and the other goes to Jack Petrovis. Uh, and uh, the one final quick, <laughs> the one final quick award I have is the um, something that. I made this year because this individual, I do believe, will change the world to make it an even better place. Every class that this person has come to, the second he walks in, there's just an energy and an excitement about the class. So the Change the World Award goes to Mark Clement. And now, Ms. Myers. Well, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I need to interrupt for a second. I seem to do something every year. Uh, sixth grade award winners, is there another paper connected to the back of one of your certificates that was supposed to be up here? Can you just look at your certificate? Is there another paper on the back of it? No? No? Nobody? Nobody? Okay, so there's no more paper here. Sorry. Oh, you have it? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We got it. it. We're good. Oh, Sorry. This, no, I, no, it wasn't me. Oh, no. See, the new, the new teacher gets in trouble, and I didn't do it this time. Um, so I'm Mrs. Meyer. I'm the new computer teacher, and I have to say thank you all for welcoming me to an incredible community. Um, sixth graders, we survived our first year of middle school, and I don't know about you, but I feel awesome. Woo! Next year, we are going to rule the school. Um, so this year for me, um, the super technology students are kids that blew me away with their incredible technology understanding and ability, and really, not, they may not have known everything about computers, but their perseverance and drive and dedication to wanting 
to be the excellence in computer and technology. It was a hard decision, and I thank you all for helping me, but this year, they're going to Shea Peterson and Tiber Ivani. Pleasure of introducing Mrs. Mead, our world language teacher. All right, good morning, or should I say bonjour? How are you guys doing this morning? Awesome. Okay, um, I I will echo what my colleagues are saying that it's really not easy to to pick students of the year. There are so many wonderful language students um, and obviously I, we can't we don't have enough time to honor everybody so um, I looked for the tiger values for our school um, and this is what I chose high quality of work great interest in my subject respect to others willingness to help others and positivity okay um, for the girl I chose Caitlin Br bro um, she shows great interest in French language she does excellent work she's constantly willing to help and in finishing the year, she created a terrific French menu as her last assignment. For the boy, I chose David Otero. David always gives 100% in every ass assignment or activity that I give him. He asks great questions about language. He inspires others with his curiosity and hard work and positivity. He made up even his own poster on alphabet and numbers. And he finished up the trimester with a wonderful poster on animals. So these are terrific students. Thank you. my turn to say goodbye to everybody. I'm retiring this year, but I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful language teacher next year. So thank you for the opportunity to work with all you guys. And parents, if your, your student is interested in learning a language, please support them. There are a lot of good sites like Duolingo online that they can use. And I'm sure our library here has some, some good materials too. So thank you very much. Have a safe and happy summer. Bye-bye. that. We will miss you, Mrs. Mead. Okay, so um, library. Um, gee. The students that were chosen this year, these two students, they went once again above and beyond. They are very excited about learning. They do more than the bare minimum. They, they come in with different ideas and they're always looking up different things. So, uh, the first student who has earned the student of the year in library affectionately known as Fred Caitlin's <laughs> she already popped up Caitlin Zanoni it's a funny story about that <laughs> the first day she came into my class I asked her do you want me to call you Caitlin or Katie or, or what, whatever what do you want me to call you and she said I don't care so I just renamed her Fred and the next student, lots of personality, always learning, Ben Berard. <laughs> and now we have our vocab.com. These are the students who scored the three highest scores in sixth grade for vocabulary.com. Um, in third place, we have Nolan Miller. Second place, Jacob King. Jacob King and Nolan the Miller. There we go. I don't think this one needs an introduction because he's been waiting for this trophy for weeks. He's been asking and checking and asking. First place for sixth grade, Evan Coase.
And now we have Mrs. Saunders. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Saunders. I'm the band director for those who don't know me. Um, I'm sure anyone who's heard the sixth grade band this year can understand why choosing awards was incredibly, incredibly difficult. The sixth grade band this year was unbelievable, really. So, um, but I get to give two types of award because I have them all year, luckily. So the first type of award I give is a growth award. And this is for students who have achieved something musically. Kids who have taken on a real challenge for themselves, joining a group they wouldn't normally be in, learning a second instrument, really progressing musically. And so those two students are Haley Hunt and Evan Coase. My second award is the Leadership Award. This is for students who take an active leadership role in the ensemble and always demonstrate pride, excellence, and community. And this year in this group, these are the kids that I see the other kids going to to answer their questions. Um, and these two students are Tibor Ivanya and Ali Bodenreiter. Thank you to our new finance teachers. Can we have another round of applause for our Unified Arts recipients? Congratulations. So we are moving on to our core academic awards. And then um, I'd like to ask teachers to come up here um, by subject area. And we will start off with English. <laughs> All right, so I have two awards to give. We've had a great year, lots of reading, lots of writing, lots of, lots of creating. Um, so first off, this student is a quiet presence in our classroom, but also a natural leader. She's got great insight and understanding of what she reads and a beautiful voice in her writing. So that student is Madeline Martone. <laughs> Um, for my second student, the student has a much more powerful presence in the room. In fact, he's often singing to us, right now the Lion King. Um, he has a lot, of, lot to offer and a unique understanding of the um, English curriculum. And the student is Dylan Gonazzo. <laughs> Great. So I have also had a lot of really high achieving students um, this year. Um, the first student that I want to recognize, she loves to read. She's really interested in everything that we do in class. I don't think she was ever bored all year long. Um, she participates even when she's not quite sure of the answer. And I always just admire that confidence that she has. And most importantly, she brings so much energy to class. I think she makes me smile every single day. Um, my first award goes to Sarah Bellarossi. And my second award goes to um, another student who participates very, very frequently, very confident in herself. Um, she came in as a really strong writer, and I think she and I have worked really well together in kind of bringing her up to that next level. 
In fact, I think she's the only student I've ever had who, after we finished an in-class essay, she said, you know, that was kind of fun. I think I'd like to do that again. So that blew me away right there. Um, so my second award goes to our other Sarah B, Sarah Brunel. Come on down. I'll, I'll do it. So let's go with uh, math next. For the math award, we look at effort, participation, and performance. The students nominated for this award demonstrate these um, attributes. They are conscientious, they're kind to their peers, they're helpful, um, and they work well with others. This year's Team Supreme Math Award goes to Hannah Kelly and Brady Lynn. math award on the downstairs team. Um, I not only look for great performance, but effort and participation are the two main aspects that I look at for the math award. Um, also students that are um, kind, good attitude, and helpful to others in class. Uh, my first award goes to Colby Creer. And my second award, sorry, Riley DeRoche. Okay, let's go with science. I'm Mrs. Ascanio and I teach science upstairs. And when we look at achievement awards in science, we start with um, academic performance. But then we also look at um, the students who really are of the scientific mind. So the two students from upstairs, um, they both wanted to learn as much as they could and really, really understand, so much so that they were always helping others because they wanted them to understand. And oftentimes they were challenging me with questions like, well, what if we do this? And what happens with this? And why does this happen? So a real pleasure to give these awards to Tibor Ivani and Samantha Tetro. And for team intelligence, I agree 100% with all the qualifications. I do believe that these two students are going to go on to be scientists of some type, hopefully a doctor and a chemist. Um, downstairs, we have chosen... Cardia, please come to the office. Not Mrs. Cardia. Um, Allison Bodenreiter and Alexandra Carter. Social studies come up. We'll all come up. You're first. Okay. All right. I'm Mrs. Miller. I teach social studies on Team Supreme upstairs. So to choose our two social studies students this year, I chose two students who excel in social studies, are very passionate, ask phenomenal questions. They put in great effort. They always ask me challenging questions that sometimes I have to get back to them on because I hadn't thought about it that way. They're wonderful classmates and are always willing to help out. That's Jack Katrobus and Ava Sadowski.
And for the downstairs team, we all teach one social studies class, so we've all chosen two students. Um, same for me, these kids are very gifted in what they know about social studies, world geography. Um, so my class is Brad Avani, Ivany, Brad Ivany, is he not here? And Sarah Coppinger. Did you not believe it? Um, for my social studies awards, very much the same. Um, I looked for students that have high interest in the subject area. They ask good questions. They really bring a lot to the class. Um, so my two students are Christian Puma and Maya Belanger. So I had a really, really great social studies class. It was probably one of my favorite parts of the day. So this was a hard choice. Um, but my first award goes to a young woman who was just very mature, had consistently high grades all year. In fact, I think there was maybe one day she was a little bit distracted and she asked if she could move to the back of the room so she could pay attention better. Um, so she's just very self-aware. She made excellent projects. She just puts so much effort and care into everything she does. So my first award goes to Katherine Carroll. Um, and my second award goes to um, a young man who just has shown so much interest in social studies all year long. Um, he works really well with everybody in the class and he too has had um, high grades all year. Every year we watch, every day I should say, we watch a little news segment called CNN 10 and other kids get a little bit distracted. He's always laser focused right on the news and what's going on. So I would like to give our second award to Jacob King. Okay, earlier in the year we had the Geography B, um, and each class had a winner that went on to the school Geography B. As a sixth grader, it's kind of tough. Um, you're against the seventh and eighth grade, and you've, it's the first time you've had social studies as a class. Um, so I think we're each going to do two. Um, Maya Belanger and Tatum Beinecke. And I have for the Geography B, Mason Frechette. Supreme, we have Orazio Garazzo, Hannah Kelly, Sonia DeRoche, and Madeline Harrington. All right, can we have another round of applause for our core academic award recipients? So 
So next I will be doing honor roll. Honor roll means that uh, students have received a B minus or better in all of their core subject areas. So there are several, which is wonderful. So if you could hold your applause until I am done. If you guys wouldn't mind being oh. here. So upstairs, downstairs. What did you want for? So, um, all right. so if your name is called, if you could go to your respective wind teacher for your award and, um, and then head back to your seat, please, because it's going to get crowded. Um, Alex Kutrobis, Logan Rawling, Raheem Afsal, Madeline Barr, David Bates, Vincent Bates, Sean Bodenrader, Bradley Brunel, Luke Calhoun, Mark Clement, Joshua Cootie, Elizabeth Donovan, Jack Gillespie, Madeline Harrington, Stephen Harvey, Samantha Hilber, Haley Hunt, Bradley Avani, Isabella Keo, Addison Keller, Maddox Kettelar, Jacob King, Evan Coase, Hannah Leonard, David Lindell, Zachy Lau, Cadence Massey, Adam Mazzarello, Abigail McKenney, Megan Mitchell, Evan Montmany, Nicholas Muse, Morgan Ossinger, Nikki Penn, Madeline Pilato, Alexandria Pernaris, Morgan Swinarski. Yeah. No, I got my side pick here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, could you please stand up for the honor roll recipients? We'll try that again. Please stand up, honor roll recipients. Congratulations. Now we have high honor roll, which is all A, 90% um, A minus or above throughout the entire school year. They're year one grades. Again, if you could hold your applause. Isabella Arsenal, Tatum Beinecke, Maya Belanger, Sarah Bella Rossi. I see a pattern. <laughs> Uh, Allison Bodenrader, Addison Brault, Alexis Brault, Sarah Brunel, Catherine Carroll, Alexander Carter, Sarah Coppinger, Colby Creer, Isabella DeRossi, Sonia DeRoche, oh. <laughs> Riley DeRoches, Mason Frechette, <laughs> Dylan Guanazzo, Logan Hasty, Tybor Vanyi, Brianna Johnson, Johnston, Hannah Kelly, Jack Katrovis, 
Brady Lind. Stephen McKinnon. Madeline Martone. Nathan Migliori. Mackenzie Ossinger. David Otero. James Patchen. Shay Peterson. Cole Reeves. Ava Rickards. Jordan Rabito. Ava Sidlowski. Olivia Squalante. Samantha Tetro. Nathan Tondro. Caden Trong. Vance Vertuccio. Emily Vinciguerra. You can clap, go ahead. <laughs> Please stand up. Congratulations. All right, thank you. How many more days of school do we have left? One and a half. I saw there was a countdown. Is there a countdown to when school starts? No. no. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. So I have perfect attendance awards. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the 150 or so of you, there are just two. Um, so loved coming to school, obviously, or I hope so. Um, never tardy, never dismissed, never out sick. Wonderful. Um, we do have one and a half more days left, right? I'm giving you an award for perfect attendance. You got to show up still, right? Okay. All right. Because if you don't, I'm coming to your house. Yeah. All right. The two recipients for perfect attendance for this school year are Vincent Bates and Ava Sidlowski. going to move on to the students of the month. Uh, we have students of the month for March, April, and May. Uh, we didn't do June because, yay, June was a short month. Right. So for team intelligence for March, this student consistently goes above and beyond in all she does. She is extremely hardworking and is meticulous in her work. She started off the school year really quiet in class and with her peers and teachers. However, she has come out of her shell and is a pleasure to have in class. The student works really well in group activities as she is very patient and creative. She is kind to others and is an excellent role model to others on our team and within our building. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for March is Mackenzie Ossinger. the second student of the month for March for Team in Intelligence. This student is an extremely hard worker. She often goes above and beyond what is expected on assignments and throughout activities. She always has great information to add to class discussions. She works well with any group of students. She is kind to others and an excellent role model to other students on our team and within our building. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for March is Maya Belanger. For Team Supreme. For Team Supreme for March, this student is a quiet presence in the classroom. He works very hard and is not afraid to make mistakes. 
He is always honest and mindful of others. He is a good friend who always does the right thing and encourages others to do the same. He maintains an open mind, is respectful, and shows his appreciation in his actions and hard work. He is a pleasure to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for March is Nick Muse. The second recipient for Team Supreme, this student is a hard working student who is always willing to help others. She maintains a positive attitude which consistently provides encouragement to those around her. She asks thought provoking questions and always listens to others answers. She is extremely respectful and sets a great example for others. She is a pleasure to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for March is Hannah Kelly. For April on Team Intelligence, this student is polite and a hard worker in class. He participates and asks good, asks good questions. This student works well with a group. He does his part and is willing to help others when needed. This student is a pleasure to have had in classes this year. We will miss him and we are confident that he will have a successful seventh grade year. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for April is Cole Reeves. second recipient for Team Intelligence in April. This student seemed really nervous at the start of the school year. She was extremely quiet with staff as well as students and her voice level was really low and hard to hear. She has shown amazing growth in these areas. She is comfortable on team and has made some great friendships and connections to her teachers and other staff. Her voice now shows confidence and she excels in her academics. The student is a pleasure to teach and has made us all so proud. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for April is Morgan Ossinger. For Team Supreme in April, this student is an energetic student who is always looking to learn more. He actively participates in classroom discussions and often brings unique ideas and perspective. He is kind and thoughtful and is a positive member of any group he is in. He never gives up and maintains a positive attitude in all of his endeavors. He is a real pleasure to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for April is Caden Traum. second recipient for April on Team Supreme. This student is a thoughtful student who is always active in sharing her knowledge in the classroom. She is not afraid to start thought-provoking discussions with her peers. She is kind and patient to others that she works with and is not afraid to think outside the box to make sure that everyone feels included. She is a pleasure to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for April is Samantha Hilbert. Okay, for the month of May on Team Intelligence. This student is kind and quiet. He is, great, he is a great friend and looks out for others on the team. He puts forth a good effort in his assignments and activities. He has been a pleasure to teach this year. We will miss him and wish him the best in his seventh grade year. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for May is Nathan Souza. The 
Next recipient for the month of May. This student puts forth a good effort in his assignments. He asks good questions. He is thorough in his work and tends to go the extra mile. He always walks with a smile. We have enjoyed having him on Team Intelligence this year and wish him the best in seventh grade. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for May is Gavin McGlinchey. Another May recipient, hey, uh, poor May. Um, this student is one of the hardest workers on our team. She never gives up and knows how to advocate for herself. She is very organized and always prepared for class. This student is very kind and works well with everyone. She listens to her peers and we are very proud of all the work she has done this year. The student has grown so much this year and we will miss her next year. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for May is Haley Hunt. mom a hug. <laughs> yeah, you're going to make the rest of us cry. Stop crying. Okay. Team intelligence for uh, another May. Uh, this student is a bright spot in our classes. She is very sweet and is always putting others before herself. She is an observant student and always puts a smile on our faces. This student works very hard every day and always asks questions when necessary. She advocates for herself and shows confidence. We are so happy that she was on Team Intelligence this year and we will miss her next year. Team Intelligence Student of the Month for May is Dakara Greenwood. for the month of May. If you hear singing in the hallway, you can guarantee that this student is around. He brings a theatrical presence to every class that he attends. Do you know who it is already? <laughs> mm, okay. Um, he asks wonderful questions that inspire thought in others. He is creative in his work and brings great ideas to the table. He is empathetic to his peers and a strong leader when group work is presented. He is a joy to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for May is yeah. <laughs> Dylan Granazzo. second to last day of school, right? A little overexcited back there. All right, so the second recipient for Team Supreme. This student is a social, creative girl who is always actively engaged in the classroom. She shares her love for all things Tatum with anyone who will listen. She is a responsible student who always has her work in on time and done well. She is kind to all of her peers and a respectful listener. She is a fun student to have in class. Team Supreme Student of the Month for May is Maddie Pilata. So since our uh, unified arts teachers had to head back to class, I am um, reading these on their behalf. This is student of the trimester for trimester three. For physical education, this student had, uh, excuse me, this student quietly had a powerful impact on an incredible class. From the first day of class, his care for and encouragement of other classmates was on full display, always keeping his focus on the success of the class. This individual will be one of the first to kindly offer a helping hand or advice to another student who is struggling to accomplish a particular task. 
He was the first to congratulate a student upon success and the first to encourage a student after failure. His example of a positive attitude is what makes him such a great teammate and classmate. Student of the trimester for sixth grade physical education is Nolan Miller. For general music, it was so cool to have the opportunity to work with this student during the third trimester. I believe he deserves the recognition of student of the trimester because he is driven by his own curiosity. Always problem solving, he has proven to me that he has tremendous potential and drive. In addition to respecting himself and others, he also respects the learning process and his own ability to go beyond the class goals and objectives. Congratulations to Evan Hubert for being general music sixth grade student of the trimester. For band, this student is an exceptional student and musician. She has taken on every challenge offered to her this year and has risen to them all. She can often be found quietly helping other students improve musically. She comes in every day with a smile and a positive attitude and is actively engaged in making the band better. She is respectful and responsible with school equipment and tries to leave the room better than she found it. Our sixth grade band student of the trimester is Allison Bodenreader. For foreign language, this student displays great interest in French. His work is excellent and his hand is often the first one to go up when questions are asked or volunteers are requested. He displayed leadership skills one day when he led the class in singing our alphabet song. You know, I think there's a theme going on here. He is also a performer in our community theater productions. Our student of the trimester for language is Dylan Bernazzo. We might have to close our awards assembly with a song, Dylan. Right? You're, yeah. <laughs> All righty. For art, I chose a student for art student of the trimester because I feel she is a great example of meeting the tiger expe expectations. Every day she arrives to class, she always has a great big smile on her face and is enthused about to be in art class. She is a great worker and always willing to help with class setup as well as class cleanup. She is always eager to please. She is kind, a great classmate, an excellent student, and a great example of what the Tiger expectations are all about. The student is Riley DeRocher. For computers, this student exemplifies the Tiger qualities. He is always on time and immediately ready to begin his assigned work. His positive attitude is shown from the minute he walks in the room with a kind smile to when he leaves. He is focused on the assigned tasks and regularly participates in classroom lessons. He leads by example with following all classroom rules and respectful to all classmates and teachers. David Otero is being recognized for the student of the trimester for computers. Library. This student is dependable, ambitious, polite, and industrious. He continuously del delivers high quality work and is, is enthusiastic about his learning. The student of the trimester for library is Teddy Morales.
And our last student of the month, uh, excuse me, student of the trimester is for health. This student is an absolute joy to have in health class. She comes into class with a smile on her face every day. She always has a kind word to say to me or her classmates. I can count on her to bring the positive attitude and focused fun with her. She works really well with her peers and always also works well alone. She follows class and assignment directions easily and is respectful and responsible. If I need anything, I can call on her to help me out. For these many reasons, Haley Lanier is the sixth grade health student of the trimester. That was March, April, and May, but if you were a student of the month chosen throughout the entire year, would you mind standing up, please? And congratulations to all of our students of the month throughout the entire year. Student of the month or student of the trimester. We will continue this uh, student of the month through um, seventh grade. So as you've been sitting here, ladies and gentlemen, You've been hearing all the different qualities about people that have earned the Student of the Month award. So think about that. So when you're in seventh grade, you can certainly continue those uh, Tiger expectations throughout and possibly be an award recipient as well. So congratulations. So this ends our awards assemb uh, assembly, but we have a few people that we want to thank. So who are these lovely people over here? Uh, your teachers. And they work very hard day in and day out on your behalf. So as much as you say, oh, there's more homework or more homework or something like that, they're not giving it to you just because they want to or just because they have to. They're doing it because they want you to learn and grow, right? Okay. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? <laughs> Can we have a round of applause for our teachers, please? group of people that are sitting here and watching this and we are also on PTV so this will also be um, shown on PTV for everyone so I know not all of your parents are here but they are a tremendous role in your learning and growth what do we say to them Thank you. <laughs> and can we have a round of applause for your parents days of school left are you excited yeah. or are you more excited for summer yeah. that's what I kind of figured okay so let, let me ask again are you ready for summer yeah. oh, this still seems kind of weak maybe we should extend the school year are you ready for summer yeah. okay little better a little better so, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to stay and take some pictures, that would be wonderful. Um, we have your Student of the Month um, write-ups here that um, if you had a kiddo with the, um, who was a recipient, these are for you, so we will pass them out after. Um, students, wait for directions from your teachers on how to head back to class. Thank you very much for, uh, to everyone for coming, and congratulations to all of our students for a hard-working year.